So in this video, we're going to use set equivalences to prove that A intersect B union C is equal to A intersect B union A intersect C. I just want to get an idea of what these actually look like by shading Venn diagrams. I'm going to pick a pretty color here to do so. So on the left, we're going to shade A intersect B union C. So picture the area where B union C is, and that's anything inside the circles B or C, and now intersect that with A. So this is the only piece that intersects with A, okay? Now coming over here, A intersect B would be this right here, and A intersect C, oh, I missed a piece over here, it would also be this. Anything that was shaded orange, that's also inside of A. And A intersect C would be anything in here. And you notice that we have the same region shaded. So there is some, you know, there is some believability here about this. So we're going to actually prove it analytically. We don't without pictures because Venn diagrams could lead us astray sometimes. So what we're going to do is say that A intersect... B union C is the set of all X such that X is in A and, well, and instead of the word and, I'm going to use the logical connective and, X is an element of the set B union C. And you can probably quickly see where this is going to go. We're actually going to be stringing along a bunch of logical equivalences that we learned before with ands and ors. So this is where we're heading. So this is the set of all x such that x is an element of A. And now what does this mean as far as logical equivalences go? Well, the definition of set union is x is an element of B or x is an element of C. So now what we're going to do is look at these statements here that are separated by the logical connectives. And you might remember from the, set of, or from the logical equivalence laws, we know that P intersect, whoops, and one thing I forgot to do was put this in parentheses. This is all one thing. P intersect Q or R is equivalent to P and Q or P and R. So you notice that this just boils down to just distributing ands and ors. So that means that this is the set of all x such that. Now, we distribute the and through. So we have x it belongs in A and x belongs in B. Or x belongs in A and x belongs in C. So I think this is coming together here. So let's just take one more step here. The, and this is equivalent to the set of all x such that now, if x is in A and x is in B, that means x is in the intersection of A and B, or x is in the intersection of A and C. And now here we go. We're talking about sets yet. So since we're in either of those sets, this is the definition then of A intersect B union a intersect C. And now we notice that the sets and logical equivalences, they really are very similar to each other. Basically, unions boil down to ors and intersections boil down to ands. So there is proving that two sets are the same using set builder notation and logical equivalences. So there we have it. Thanks for watching.